Boxer Mike Tyson once said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. The same is true for connectors. Sure, everything is just dandy until crazy thermal loads, moisture intrusion, and vibration come along. If your next application is going into a rugged environment, whether that's thousands of feet in the air, rattling along on a freight train, or on the floor of a busy manufacturing plant, your connectors need to be extremely reliable, robust, shield against EMI, and contend with extreme mating cycles. And along with all of those rugged environmental concerns, we also need to consider signals, data, and power. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Matthew Burns from Samtech and I investigate the design challenges involved with routing signals, data, and power in rugged applications. We also explore the benefits that Samtech's Ursa IO Ultra Rugged Cable System brings to rugged applications and why the extreme density and the hyperboloid type contact sets this cable system apart from other solutions on the market today. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Samtech. Hi, Matt. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Amelia. Great to be with you again. Excellent. Okay, so we're talking about routing signals, data, and power in rugged applications today. But Matt, before we dig into the details, why is it essential to consider signals, data, and power together? Well, I think the reason that you want to consider those when architecting a system for rugged applications, Amelia, is just simply the fact that almost any OEM and market product that you design are going to have signals, you know, typically analog, some type of data, typically digital, and then power. That may sound simplistic, but when looking at a rugged application holistically, it's good to consider all the signal types that you have within the system. You know, when we look at this block diagram that we have on the slide here, this is very high level, and this is something that Samtech had put together, I think it was actually from the Chalk Talk we did with you on robotics. But when you look at this system, this block diagram, you can see that there's analog signals all over the place. There's digital signals going from the microcontroller to the CPU, GPU, or from the CPU, GPU to the wireless module or out to the user interface portion of the solution. Maybe it's a GUI. And power, obviously, is all throughout the system, whether that's you know 12 volt DC or AC inlet or something that's from a, a battery. So, you know, looking at this solution, you know, motor control, definitely analog output, analog input for controlling it, unless it's PWM. So when thinking about rugged applications, I need to route signal, I need to route power, I need to route analog all throughout the system. Now, that may be on a PCB, that may be on discrete wires. If it's a rugged application, it's going to be, you know, subject to stricter environmental design concerns. So it's not only where do my signals go, but how do I get my signals from point A to point B reliably, no matter what the rugged environment may throw at it, whether it's temperature extremes, shock and vibe extremes, or whatever the case may be. That's really why we wanted to cover that topic of signal data and power in rugged applications. That makes sense. Now, Matt, what kind of specific applications fall into this rugged category? That's a great question, Amelia. And I would say that that's, it depends upon who you ask. But in general, based on you know, what Samtech sees working with our partners and our customers, we see rugged applications, and I'm making air quotes with rugged applications for the listeners to the Chalk Talk. We see rugged, good examples, robotics. You know, That's a very broad term. Is it humanoid robotics? Is it robotics in a factory, you know, when it's doing manufacturing? Is it something like a Roomba that cleans up your house if you happen to have one of those? In any case, it's rugged, right? There's temperature concerns. If something's on the manufacturing floor, there's obviously heat. There's potentially thermal, environmental, humidity, shock and vibe, whatever. Something that we've seen more recently when I'm talking about robotics is humanoid robotics, which are, you know, starting to mimic human form. And, you know, we think of all those applications, signal, data, power needs to be routed everywhere. 
Mill Arrow speaks for itself. Those are definitely rugged. You know, Mill Arrow applications can be underwater. They can be in space. They can be at 70,000 feet in the atmosphere. And obviously, subject to shock and vibe, extreme temperature ranges. Transportation, if you're going four by fouring on your, you know, with your quad or with your motorcycle or with your Jeep or whatever the case may be, definitely a bumpy ride. If you're riding a freight train, definitely bumpy. Different shock and vibe there that you'd have versus a car or sitting in an office situation. Planes, you know, when they take off, obviously, rugged environment. The temperature profile of the atmosphere, talking about planes, obviously extreme. Rugged computing, you know, this is showing sort of a mill arrow application, but to me, rugged computing is also, you know, taking a laptop with you when you're out on a oil derrick in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. You know, you're on the boat getting from land out to the oil platform, or you're flying out there in a helicopter, you're going mountain climbing, and you take a satellite phone with you, maybe you have a, a rugged computing solution there. Manufacturing, we, we talked about. And then, you know, something that's becoming more popular, both commercially and in defense applications, UAVs and drones. So when you look at this holistically, when you look at each of these applications individually, there's definitely extreme rugged environmental variables that affect each of these applications specifically. And all of these and more are in need of rugged interconnect, which is where Samtuck comes into the ecosystem. All right. So let's talk about those rugged interconnect systems that Samtech offers for these kinds of applications. Yeah. So obviously, Samtech has a whole portfolio of rugged discrete wire solutions and board to board connectors and shielded connectors and things like that. But something that we've released recently here in the second half of 24 that we're really excited about is a new platform that we call Ursa IO or the Ursa IO Ultra Rugged Cable System. And if any of your listeners are Johnny on the spot, Ursa obviously is bear, is Latin for bear. So bears are rugged, they're big, they're scary, can be, at least when you think about a grizzly bear or a Kodiak bear. But when you think about that from an interconnect standpoint, this new Ursa IO has several features that make it ideal for rugged applications, mill aero, automotive transportation, humanoid robotics. What are some of these key features? Well, the contact design uses a hyperboloid-like contact system which gives four points of contact between the male and the female interconnect. So that provides reliability. Our Ursa IO contact system is also very small, very dense. So it's a one millimeter pitch and double row spacing, which allows for a high number of signal data or power to all exist together on a cable assembly or a board to board interconnect. Something that's really unique about Ursa IO, and we're seeing this trend and more rugged embedded application is density. So because of the small pitch, one millimeter pitch, we're able to get up to 1,450 IOs in a one RU panel or counting 29 cables with 50 total contacts within the system. Because we're in rugged applications, like some of the solutions we talked about in the previous slides, EMI, EMC can be a concern. So Ursa IO comes with EMI shielding, not only on the connector, but also cable options for that as well that helps limit signal degradation, optimize performance, there's captive panel screws and strain reliefs for attaching the connectors both to PCBs and to panel mount solutions. And as you can see from the illustration, Ursa IO offers both cable to cable and cable to board solutions for mill aerospace and other rugged computing applications as well. It also has a really decent current carrying capability per contact up to 2.9 amps in a single pin. So overall, it's a very diverse, very rugged, very wide-ranging interconnect solution for a number of rugged applications. You may ask, why is Samtech coming out with another rugged interconnect solution? And one of the reasons we did that is, you know, D-sub connectors are very popular in mill aero applications, and they definitely have their space for where they're used. But D-subs, while they are high reliable and ideal for a number of mill aero applications, are frankly quite expensive. So Ursa IO, while not pin-for-pin -pin compatible, to D-subs do offer an alternative for rugged applications where you need all the value add of a D-sub solution. You're not sacrificing the ruggedness, but there is some cost benefits there as well. So Matt, what are some key features of Ursa IO that set it apart in the industry? Yeah, so we just wanted to add a little bit more detail, a little bit more illustration about some of the things we mentioned earlier on the previous slide. When it comes to extreme density of Ursa IO, and get 1,450 IOs in a one RU panel or up to 29 cables with 50 total IOs each. Again, 
in rugged embedded computing, there's this trend for density, right? Everyone loves their smartphone. The smartphone stays the same size, more and more functionality each successive generation. That's why we upgrade every year or two, right? Consumers are getting used to dense, high functionality, and users want to see that in rugged computing. So that was really one of the design goals we had with our site. How can we make something rugged, powerful, diverse, but fit in a small form factor? What ties into that, too, is the fact of the hyperboloid type contact, the four points of contact, which enables high reliability, extreme mating cycles. You know, when we talk about extreme mating cycles, typically our standard headers and sockets, a couple hundred cycles, maybe a thousand cycles. With Ursa IO, we're talking 5,000 mating cycles. So very reliable, really designed and intended for rugged applications. A couple other features, because we use a bayonet style interconnect on Ursa IO, it's scoop proof. So that means when you're putting the system together and turning a bayonet style connector together, the contacts are not going to twist because of the contact type. The connectors also have very high pull force and pin retention. So when you combine all these features, the high mating cycles, the scoop proof, the hyperboloid type contact, Ursa IO is a cost-effective, rugged, versatile interconnect solution for routing signals, data, and power in any type of rugged computing application. So Matt, where is the Ursa IO rugged cable system headed from here? Is there a roadmap? There is, and that's a great question. Since we've put a soft launch on this within the last year or so, we've been surprised at how well the market has adopted Ursa IO for such a rugged, reliable interconnect system. So currently, you know, the products that we have available who are right angle board to cable and panel mount cable to cable solutions. We also have a vertical board to cable solution that makes Ursa IO so flexible for so many applications. Some of the things that we're working on going forward, cable shielding for advanced EMC performance. We're looking at pool latch options, which again, add not only flexibility and variability, but also reliability in a number of applications. I think we've talked to you too before, Amelia, about the number of investments that we're making within the precision RF field. So, you know, we have a number of board mount, panel mount, ganged cable mount, SMPM style connectors, which gets you performance out to 65 gigahertz. But we've been asked by a number of Milero customers, rugged customers, do you have other rugged cables that support SMPM to 65 gigahertz? And we've realized that all these benefits to Ursa IO in terms of the reliability of the contact system, the panel mount connectors, the PCB level connectors are ideal for allowing an SMPM connector to be added inside of that. So that's something else we're looking on that we'll look forward to launching in the very near future. Related to that size 20 coax contacts, it's an industry standard contact size for a number of RF communication systems, mill arrow and rugged. So we're taking that size 20 contact that we've developed for another program and putting that inside of an Ursa IO cable assembly. Another family that we've worked on for high speed board to board performance, our accelerate family, it's a edge rate contact system that supports data rates of up to 64 gigabit per second in rugged cable form. We're looking to take those accelerate mini contact systems, the cabling with a twin axe behind it, putting that into a Ursa IO shell and enabling PCI 6.0 and higher speed capabilities in a rugged cable assembly. And then finally, Samtech is all about sudden service, understanding what the customer's needs are and providing a solution. Samtech, can you put a RF cable, a data connector, and a power cable all in the same solution? Let's take a look at it. So, you know, we're looking at a variety of combination solutions that leverage the existing hyperboloid contact, Ursa IO, you know, versatile contact for signals, analog, and power with RF and high-speed digital as well. So we're really at the beginning of the story, the beginning of the evolution with Ursa IO, and we're really excited about where the future is going to take us with this family. Excellent. Now, Matt, I know Samtech does robust testing for all of your solutions. And this is also the case with the rugged solutions like Ursa IO as well, right? Correct. So to your point, every product that Samtech makes goes through what we call DQT or design qualification testing. And, you know, there's a number of rugged features that we test to that make all of our products have a certain level of reliability. So that's gas tight, normal force testing, thermal aging, and more, you know, standard relative humidity testing. We also have a secondary set of testing that we call extended life products. And that's really targeting 
higher mating cycles, higher dielectric withstand voltages, current carrying capabilities, and the like. We also look at mixed flow gas with ELP, and you're really talking about more rugged industrial type applications. But for the most rugged applications, we have what we call SET, or severe environmental testing. And what that is, is a SAMTEC initiative that's used to test products beyond typical industry standards and specifications for performance confidence in rugged, harsh environmental industries. Products that undergo SET testing like URSA IO are inspired by military standards to ensure that they're more suitable for rugged applications, military, space, automotive, industrial, and other extreme products. But it's taking that suite of set protocols, applying it to a commercial off-the-shelf product like URSA IO, and then making it flexible for a number of rugged applications. So looking at this diagram, you'll see that with set, you know, we're looking at high altitude DWV, 70,000 feet. Obviously, that's where a, you know, that's the upper limits of a fixed wing transportation for mill aero applications. We look at advanced shock and vibe, you know, 40 G peak for 11 milliseconds, half sign, 12 G RMS, 5 to 2,000 hertz. That's really adopting a Vita spec for additional testing. Temperature cycling, electrostatic discharge, and the like. So we can spend an entire chalk talk talking about Samtex testing philosophy and all the things that we do, but we just want to provide this glimpse of the detail that our rugged products are submitted to, Amelia, to make sure that your listeners have the high level of confidence that the solutions will perform the way that we say they will. Excellent. All right, Matt. So can you recap your main points for me? Yeah. The biggest takeaway, the demands for interconnect for rugged applications, no matter what they are, is increasing. So we offer a complete portfolio of flexible, reliable, high-performance interconnects ideally suited for those applications. We back that up with a team of technical experts, our field sales engineers, our field applications engineers, our applications engineers at the factory, online design tools, world-class customer service to enable easy design into those solutions. The latest product that we have for our rugged applications, URSA IO, Ultra Rugged Cable Systems, are ideally suited throughout data signals and power in any rugged application that needs high reliability, as well as benefits from dense small form factors. So for more information about Earth's IO and all of our rugged products, you can visit our partner website, mauser.com at Samtech, or you can email our specialists at rugged at samtech.com. Fantastic. Well, Matt, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks so much, Amelia. It's always a privilege talking with you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Samtech. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash journal.